God wants us to send light into the, in the year 2024. Everybody shoot your hand to the Lord. Say, I want to send light. The light of God. Into my future. Because no matter what the enemy has purpose to do or the world and other things, you carry light that you can release to your future. That you will not be stranded when men are stranded. Praise God. So that part of it that says that uh, so let there be light genesis chapter one and verse number three in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Verse 3. Let there be light. And there was light. Praise God. Now I want to bring to our attention a few things. Then we'll rise up and pray. Number one. Without light, creativity, that is one, innovation, progress, impact you can continue with that list will be impossible you can have all the potentials in life all the things that you are created to be by God but never become until light dawns on you that's why everybody under the sound of my voice must really settle down to discover and rediscover the importance of new birth in your life. Kuokoka si kujoin dini. Kuokoka si kuacha tukunywa pombe na sigara. Mana kuna watu wengi sana ambao awazitumina wajaokoka. Kuokoka siyo kubadilicha mavazi. Kuokoka ni kuwa initiated into the kingdom of light. Kuokoka. When you say I'm born again, I'm a child of God, you have been translated from the world of darkness. Colossians 1 and verse 12 and 13. You have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. So, once you discover the importance of light in the life of a believer or a human being living on the face of the earth, because you need to know God creates the enemy steals, he destroys, and he kills. That's very important. Very important. Very important. So God creates. So there is nobody here that was intended by God, whether you are born again or not born again, to live in darkness. There are certain things of life you will never come into contact with until light begins to shine in your life. And we must begin to value again and move from religion to the reality of Christianity. That your life has taken a new shift, a new trajectory. You are not operating from the level of ordinary people. You have contacted light. There is no deadness in your life. That's almost conclusion now. 
So you have been moved. So even when you, when you find yourself, you are struggling to concentrate, you are struggling to do certain things, you need to know there is a, a challenge somewhere that what in your mind or have what to corrupt the way God ordered your life to, li to live. Because once you are born again and a child of God, you have been translated. Giving thanks to the Father who qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Stretch your hand, everybody. Today we're going to do a short word, then we're going to release prayer. Everybody lift your right hand before God. That's my left hand. Lift your right hand before God. So let there be light in my business, in my career, in my family, in my health. Let there be light. Say, I am, an I am an inheritor. I have been qualified. Amen. Give us amplified for that. Say, I've been qualified Amen. to be a partaker, a partaker, a partaker. An, inheritor. an inheritor, an inheritor of the inheritance of light. Amen. Praise God. You can come to church for 30 years and Everything, because so long as you live in darkness, so long as you are in that world, you can come to this place if there is total darkness around outside and inside. You can have gold or diamond that we were told in the peplas today here, but you can't benefit from it. It takes light to reveal. All the discoveries you see people uh, who discover the, the law of gravity, they settled on a matter. How did that fruit fall down? Why didn't it go up? They never left that thing. Even if they left the location, that thing never left them. That's what made the Light Brothers sit on something. They said, this thing can fly. They were discouraged. Today, people board a plane and in eight hours they're in London and they don't even question. Because somebody got light. You can carry religion and brag with religion and talk of how many years you have been charged, how many titles you carry, what kind of a person you are, but you are still operating in darkness. Even the simple matters of your life, you can't decode. The simple issues of your marriage, you can't handle. The simple issues of your business, you can't handle. Because an illumination has not entered a certain area of your life. Please lift your hand with holy joy and say with me, let there be light. Say with holy joy, say let there be light in my life, in my family, in my career, in my business. Let there be light. Praise the Lord. So you have been made a partaker of that light. How were you made a partaker of that light? You see, one of the issues that every believer needs to know is that ukika kanisa sana unaanza kuzoya mambo mabaya. Na watu wanaichukuaga juu ya certain kind of relationships. Unakaa na watu ambao walijua kuna vigeti na mungu. Yeah, very dangerous. Very dangerous. You see, ndege ambao inapa, haiwezi jilinganisha na ndege ilipa na ikaseto. You know that? Ndege ikipa, those, those of you who fly planes here, you, you know that. You know, ndege ikipa inatumiaga more power. Ili break that thing. Na hapo ndio kila mtu na lazima ufunge mshipi. Mbaka hiyo tai tazimwa. Na muwezi saviwa chochote. Not always in the washroom. Because that's a very tricky area in Kwandege. Like in Afrika Mahali, ni kama ata ndege inasemaga. So munaambio sasa mikanda ya ndege ya imepsimwa. Sasa munaletua chai na kahawa. Watu wengine wanalalisha kiti wana, wana lala. Uko juu. Sasa wezi ziringanicha na mtu kama huyo. Salimia njirani yako ya kwapo. Si wewe ni huyu ndugu. Uyu ndugu, salimia ndugu wa tai. Unamuona? Sasa wezi jiringanisha na huyo. Huyo wako na watoto wa wili kwa sasa. Na ni ofisa mkubwa. Sasa wewe haujaanza. Hapana. Sasa ya akisema maombi haifai, we muambie thank you sir. 
we are waiting to accumulate bonga points because you, you are surviving on bonga points. Those are the things I'm holding. You begin to take the issues of life lightly. You begin to see people take relationship lightly because they navigated through those issues of life and their lives have got it to a certain level, which is also not a very good thing. But I'm saying it's simple, is this. The zeal you entered into Christianity if you persisted with it, today you would be doing greater things. I know you can't agree with the majority of you, but that is the reality. The zeal you entered in before you are corrupted by many sermons. Yeah. You are corrupted by many sermons. Some of the time I look at some of the things we used to do when we were young people and uh, I look at them, I said, I think those were good things. Though they were done zeal without knowledge, but they were good things. Yeah, they were good things. Yeah. You know, going, going to preach in the open air without anything, without a, telling the elders, then we, we come to be carpeted by elders. Now there are no people carpeted. <laughs> now there are people pushed to go. Because they sat with people who settled. May there be light. I say may there be light. Amen. One of the ladies here was really, really blessed my heart when uh, an issue happened in the house and she called and uh, so she says, she says she has handled the issue. It was a manifestation a daughter has going through terrible issues for so many, many years. So, and, so I asked her, how did you do it? She told me one time, one Gizion, uh, her daughter, his daughter was in our house and something happened. So when he came, the way he handled that matter, I was learning. So when it happened to my daughter, I took charge. So he said, how the manifestation, but he had seen it somewhere. But there is somebody who would say, Anakiasi. Akumuka mzee moja alituambia, akatuambia kwamba, hii mbio yenu itaisha. Shukuru mungu yangu waijaisha. <laughs> I praise the name of a living God. Aituambia, tukutunambia huo, hii moto ya, maka, ya mafefe, hii, itaisha. 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 Alafu siku moja nikajikuta kwa board ya elders, ningine tulikuwa and then, now, na mkio, tulikuwa newly married, na, na, Nika realize in a stress my wife's son. Because the whole night, there is no prayer, there is no discussion of a spiritual thing. Ni vita na kusetiwa vile mutapigana vita. The whole night, I discovered that's where men lose their calling. That's where darkness begins to creep. Look at the way you're looking with holy eyes. It's like I'm talking to people in Cambodia. That's where the zeal. Ulianzaza kuombeaga watu kambio. Uwe. Uwe. Umeambia prophet, hatunambia watu hapa, shindwe, uredu uka report, now that motto ikazimwa. Sasa, in, when you are supposed to be releasing something, you have settled. I came to declare from today to the last day of this year, we are not closing 2024 without light in our spirits. Lift your hand everybody, say let there be light. Shout it, please. Say, let there be light. Say, let there be light. So verse number 13 now. We read it off. 13. So you have become a partaker. So I'm saying, if what you said in chapter 1 of Genesis is true, then we must, number one, have the revelation of what is new birth. What is that that came into us? That light. I'll show you another scripture so that you understand where we are going to uh, very briefly. Amen. So I am no longer in the dominion and the control of darkness. So when I come now to 1 Thessalonians 5, 5, it works for me. I am of the day and not of the night. So number one, you need to have a revelation. You are the sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Praise God. All right, why? Because you have been translated. So number one is you must have a clear, settled revelation of new birth, salvation, amakuokoka, the way you would call it. You must settle 
you must really know when I said Jesus you are Lord over my life come into my spirit and begin to work in me what happened there was a transaction that took place now I'm going to move another one more step that is very important number two number two okay just just hold on listen to this first I think it's very important once you say come man of God preacher man <laughs> praise God all right angalia watu umeokoka wewe all right sasa sema bwana Yesu nakupokea leo to be my lord over my life amen now the time this gentleman says that the first operation that takes place is not in his mind it's not in his body is his spirit so from that particular time his spirit is shifted and you need to listen to this because it's very important because this is where most of us miss so that we don't say let there be light and nothing is operating in our life now after this gentleman have declared that he has been made the sons of light but now to manifest light he need the holy spirit the manifester in him please write that and never forget in your life you can't ignore the holy spirit and live a serious colorful meaningful christian life it will be religion so you need the manifest we are saved through by faith through by we are saved by grace we are saved through grace by faith Ephesians 2 we are faith we are saved through grace by faith so it is you don't do anything to be saved you only need to confess Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life period you are born again you're a child of God by faith you receive it now listen to this carefully because it's very important the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ so grace came with Jesus John chapter 1 this should be verse 17 grace came with Jesus so that grace is what saves us can everybody say I'm saved by grace I am saved by grace, I am saved by grace. So it is grace that has saved us. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Now listen to this carefully. Now come, come on this side. Now when you were born again, now you are born again. Tell these people you are born again now. I'm a child of God. Now that is, he has been brought into the kingdom of light. To manifest light. To walk in the light. To display the light he has a potential of the light he is in the light he is light but to manifest the light he need the manifester who is the Holy Spirit very important everybody shoot your hand to the Lord say the Holy Spirit who dwells in me say the Holy Spirit who dwells in me helps me to manifest my light to my generation you know christianity is not complicated religion complicated because there is a way people want you to live that's what's the lesson in the pep class there's a way people want you to live there is a way a certain denomination want you to live there is a certain way a pastor want you to behave there is a certain way but you see your pastor is not your holy ghost you see there is the one that lives in you who who now is supposed to manifest that light so when he say you are the light of the world you are the salt of the earth you are the light of the world so now the holy spirit lives in you he convicted you for salvation you gave your life to christ then you receive what he call the baptism of the holy spirit you lose your control to the Holy Ghost as your senior partner. 
Please like that and let's settle in your life. It will help you forever. So we are the sons of the light. So and remember where we are coming from. Genesis 1.3. Are we in the house of the Lord? Are we in the house of the Lord? So we said there can be no innovation. Creativity. Progress. Impact. Influence in your life. Without light. So light must be there for you to function. The way you are supposed to function in every field of your life. That's why we study. You study a subject. You study medicine. You study accounts. You study agriculture. You study a certain plan. You pour yourself into it. You carry that light. Praise God. Put your hand here, everybody. Say, I carry something. Say, I carry something. I carry something. Ragu Zakata. May nobody ever die that you are supposed to have healed. May nobody ever live and die in a premature accident because you did not develop your light. You carry giftings. You carry the people that are flying plane today. There is somebody today who is flying a plane. I told you how one time we got into a plane from Zambia and, uh, and uh, th then there was something that was happened to the plane and so it happened that uh, so we were told to wait. So the pilot and other people were getting in. So the, now, the, a lady came and sat here next to me. And she was reading a book. Short lady. And uh, her hair was shaved and done like this. To vit vit. So, because I didn't have a problem, because I thought she, maybe she is the people in the clue and whatever. Then we got in. I discovered the lady, the girl, was seated. Is everyone live here is at the mercy of that girl? She's the one behind that thing. I discovered life is not size, it's light. Mimi ata nikiweko hapo na tanzangu zote. Iyo kitu haiwezi ngatuka hapo. Na iki ngatuka, itaenda na speedy enye. Siku moja nilendecha motorbike, ikaenda juu ya muti. Yeah, nikuwa na jifunza kuendesha motorbike. Those many years. Of course, those who are riding motorbike now, they, they didn't come now, but those days they were, they were for senior people. So, and I discovered that uneza press kitu hapo, iyo kitu ikute juu ya mabati. But somebody has light. Why? She sat down. Please tell your neighbor, sit down. Even you, sir, sit down. Sit down. Settle on a matter. Don't hold, ratch, ratch to things. What in this life can you say you have carried light? Yeah. Ninini dunia hii yako yote na miaka 50, 70, 20, 30, 15, 18, you can really say, you can really say that you can put your hands on and say, this, I have light here. I can sit on these books. I can do something on this thing. There is a light that's much. And that is the biggest battle of our generation. The enemy has crafted a life of people to live wasted life. We are here, there, here, there, here, there, on everything. We are master of all things. You know, we try to do all, I mean, we are, we are jack of all things, but we are master of nothing. There is nothing in your life you can say you have put your hands on. Praise God. If you are a worshiper, perfect something in your worship. Until one day, you will, a whole stadium will gather there. You'll discover with all these great apostles who are coming, one is a certain generation. That is what is spinning me. A certain generation. Where other generations are just roitering around. A certain generation has already taken over. Even fathers are now allowing that generation to take. I pray you belong to that generation. May you contact light quickly. Lift your hand everybody. Say, Lord, I carry something. There is a light I carry. Put on something perfected. Now, I discovered when all these apostles were coming, healing like water, miracles, great things happening, there was still a group of other people. They were not just healing evangelists and whatever, they were coming with worship. My goodness. And I tell you the truth. Some of them would worship 
and the whole congregation will be electrified not by entertainment jesus by by the because somebody have perfected you will not be known for everything what light do you carry Billy Graham was known by the light of soul winning somebody said and it is written in one of the books about uh 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 they call him pastor adeboe but he's a general overseer of christian redemption whatever chat uh globally and uh one of the most influential men in the world the most humble person in the world now listen that gentleman uh or man of god they say you know he doesn't move from the pulpit because he's elder a professor in mathematics who left his career many years to interpret to his spiritual father who did not know english oh yeah the spiritual father in the in that church now today he is a general overseer could not speak english and uh, he came to interpret for him and he never requested to preach or start an english speaking church applied mathematics professor in the university and he said in one of his books if you would get late to service 10 minutes the father you would preach him he would interpret kneeling down and lifting the mic up until he is through and he never left you wonder why men are men today is the path they passed show me the path you are able to endure i will show you the future waiting you You think all those people that are moving stadiums are coming from eating chapati my friend and wearing suit and ties and just jumping on the pulpit you try even even a simple demon of fraud will arrest you before you get to this place the whole stadium is gathered your voice can't come out men are coming from a path there is a place there is a track they have walked in they have labor spent their time Or do you think that uh, that people who have discovered great invention like Steve Jobs and others they came from sleep? You read of the story of Bill uh, what what you call it Bill Gates. You know how his mother looked for the mother looked for him everywhere. He could not find him. And uh, two days the man have not bathed. His hair had rocked until it was with the dead drafts. The man was busy in the garage. And the mother says they say Bill where are you? Is there me? Is there what are you doing? Is there I'm thinking, don't you think? <laughs> He has the mother don't you think the man was so glued, so glued into something. Ladies and gentlemen, this message may not be for everybody, but it's a time for somebody to sober up your life. There can't be any progress if there is no light. You are not given light, you generate light. It's already inside you. You have to generate and this life you can't fake forever i'm telling you the truth some people who they were will be known when they are dead oh yeah you always sounded a big man and a great man people will know whether you are great when you are not there and unfortunately that time you don't have time to recover that's why you must set on something develop and something people are developing programs He said nobody was created by any way you compliment men. You can pay somebody to do for you books but you need some f- elementaries of understanding books. There are new laws now that are coming of taxation. You need to know them. That young man told me something I felt I need to go back to school with these young people. I think you he, that man provoked me he told me how he left an organization and came to do something and he showed me his things that he is doing from the comfort of his house spending hours and employing 20 people working for him i pray in the name of the lord that light between now and 31st of december will shine on somebody here <laughs> Thank you.